everyone welcome back to the channel with that being said i am definitely very behind and i have a lot to catch up to for example in this case here we have uh cyberstorm access and duelist nexus as uh packs that i actually found on quite a nice discount i mean the fact that i found these for only four dollars each is extremely cheap these things retail for about six dollars some stores even sell them for seven dollars per booster pack so to get one for $4 each is definitely uh, really cheap, so yeah, definitely really nice there. Couldn't pass up the offer. Uh, Cyberstorm Axis has some really amazing cards. Duelist Nexus, I'm not too familiar with what's in there, so I guess it's just going to be a surprise to find out. But this was pretty much the remaining store in the, uh, or at least the remaining packs in the store, and uh, yeah, I just decided to buy it for... Um, and I'll hopefully get a few more on the way but uh, with that being said it is definitely going to be really exciting to uh, get back into it again so pretty much I have uh, five packs of Cyberstorm Access and three packs of Duelist Nexus so this is going to be really exciting um, you can see that they're all in these uh, security packs so it makes them really actually no that's opened up that's weird all right uh, looks like that you can actually take out. So let's see if I can take out the others. No, the others are all sealed up, but I guess you could just open it up. Uh, but look, these days in a lot of stores, and when I say stores, I'm not looking. I'm not talking about a uh, about an actual like uh, local card store. I'm actually talking about like the um, department store. This was actually from a department store that was going for four dollars and yeah it's definitely a really good price considering department stores usually charge the most four packs uh, but yeah this was all just in a display cabinet so uh, definitely just a really safe I guess in a sense but it's kind of sad to see that you can't just pick these off the shelves anymore um, but I guess it's gonna be either for the better or for the worst in this case um, it could go either way so yeah let's just get everything opened up here and we're gonna see what's actually inside so yeah how have you guys been I mean it's definitely been a while and I have so much to catch up on so it's just going to be uh, pretty much a whole new thing to me again I mean just uh, getting back into so many things that I've missed out on it's just nearly two years of this so yeah let's begin here we have Duelist Nexus all right so Let's see, uh, we have Grenosaurus Giga Cannon, which I do know that there are some new uh, Dino supports, so that's going to be really exciting. Uh, Gaia Blaze, the Force of the Sun, so I guess new Gaia support as well. Um, let's see, we have New World Amritara. Uh, this is for the Visor Starfrost uh, archetype. So, yeah, don't know if th that would be considered an archetype, but yeah, I don't know. I uh, also heard that um, Super Heavy Samurai had also uh, taken off for quite a bit as well. I've kind of been on off with everything, so haven't been fully out of the loop, but uh, definitely um, missed out on quite a few significant things. Uh, we have Banishing Trap Hole. It's quite interesting. I could try that out in Trap Tricks. Uh, don't necessarily know if that's going to be good or not, but I guess we'll... Uh, have to test things out there but let's see what we have next here so got magnum the reliever i'm not too sure if this is related to anything no it just seems like a generic card so it'll be fun to try that out in any sort of deck considering um super poly has definitely become uh, quite a big thing in this format again so yeah so far, nothing particularly special in uh, Duelist Nexus, but let's try and see what we get in Cyberstorm Access now. So, let's see here. Uh, what do we have? We have, starting off, uh, Virtus, which I have no idea what this archetype is, um, or if it even is part of an archetype. So, we got that. Let's see what else we have here. We have 
Manadiums, which is also a thing. Uh, Constella Teller Knights. So this is going to be really interesting. It's actually support for both the Teller Knights and the Constellas. Um, didn't realize that that came out, but that's all great. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, nice. That's actually our cover card. So we actually got a secret rare. Um, Firewall Dragon Singularity. Wow. I actually didn't expect to get that. Uh, that was really cool. I mean, out of five packs, the five remaining packs in the store to actually get the cover card. Uh, yeah, wow. So that's actually a Link 7 as well. That's insane. Um, yeah, don't know anything about the card. Don't know what it does. Um, so yeah, it's going to be uh, fun to try that out in uh, in a cyber deck. So let's see if we can uh, continue this. Uh, we have Grand Sulphur Cord Coolia. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Gold Pride, I heard, also was one of those decks that I think had a bit of a spotlight, but I haven't heard anything about them so far. Uh, let's see what else we get. So this is our final pack. And hopefully you get something good. Oh, look, we have our uh, I mean, Kanko support, which is great. Uh, we have Tri Brigade Roar, which is... Um, I mean, that's fine, but I don't think it's too much of a significant card. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that's actually quite interesting to see all these uh, new cards here. Obviously, I am really out of the loop. I, I did not recognize so many of these. Um, so, yeah, you guys are going to have to tell me uh, what we got uh, and whether or not it's actually any good. But uh, I do like the fact that we did pull a secret rare, so... Yeah, definitely quite nice. I mean, look, $4 a pack, that's that's pretty good, right? So, yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. Again, it's going to be quite exciting to start making videos again. I have so many uh, decks that uh, have just technically been collecting dust. I mean, not all of them have, but uh, yeah, like just uh, quite a few of them have been just uh, sitting in the drawer. I do have like one or two main decks that I still take out to play, but even then I don't really update it, I don't really keep up with much, and it's mostly for casuals. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all next time.